Hello, second grade smarties, and welcome to unit four, week one, day two of foundations. So as you can see, our screen is a little different today, and that's because we are in something called the fun hub. So we are going to be talking about our suffixes today, and we're going to be spelling words with suffixes with our tile board. So you will need that. And we will also be learning a word of the day and three new trick words. Whew, lots of learning. So buckle up and let's get started. So yesterday, you guys learned about suffixes ES, S, ING, and ED. And where do suffixes go? At the end of a word. So today, we are going to be exploring suffixes ER, in EST. When we see ER in EST, we are comparing things. So for example, if I see ER at the end of the base word tall, I would say my pen is taller than my marker. So ER, I put at the end of a word to compare two things. If I have EST, we call it ist. It sounds like ist, ist. That E doesn't really say eh. That means I'm comparing three or more things. So I have three objects, and I would say my pizza pointer is the tallest object. Tallest. Tall, taller, tallest. So we add these suffixes at the ends of words when we are comparing things. But we're going to explore that some more. So let's go ahead and get started with our drill sounds. So repeat after me. I-N-D, find, ind. I-L-D, wild, ild. O-L-D, cold, old. O L T Colt Alt O S T Post Oast. Great job, guys. And remember, those are our closed syllable exception glued sounds. They make a sound together. Let's practice some digraphs. We haven't done this in a while. C H Chin Ch S H Ship Sh. T H thumb C K sock k. and remember we talked yesterday about how if we see that suffix s sometimes it can sound like a z so we would say s bugs z. great job all right and let's go to our, our sound cards and of course we have our vowels a, apple, a. Ah. U, up, a. Uh. O, octopus, a. Ah. I, itch, i. E, ed, a. Eh. Fantastic. Give yourselves a round of applause. All right. And we are going to move on to our word of the day. So our word of the day has a suffix at the end that we would use to compare two things. So our word of the day is thicker. What's the word? Thicker. Remember when we tap a word that has a suffix, we don't tap the suffix. So it would say thick, thick, Thicker. When I mark up words that have a suffix, what I do is I circle the suffix because it's added to the end of a word. And this word has two digraphs, T-H and C-K. When we see suffixes, we can tell them apart if they are vowel consonants, I'm sorry, vowel suffixes or consonant suffixes. E-R starts with an E, which is a vowel. So this is a vowel suffix. 
okay? And remember, if I see ER at the end of a word, that tells me I am comparing two things. So let's say I was comparing my phone to my dry erase marker. Thick talks about how wide something is. Okay, so my whiteboard eraser is thicker than my phone. It's wider than my phone. So thicker means that I am looking at the size of something. What was our word of the day? Thicker. So we are going to write a sentence using the word thicker on page 62. So go to page 62, pause the video if you need to. And I came up with a sentence that helps me think of how I can use the word thicker in, a, in the right way. So I said cardboard is thicker than paper. So we want to make sure that we have a sentence that uses thicker in the correct way. So you could use my sentence. You could come up with your own sentence. Remember, though, when we are using the word thicker, we want to make sure that we're using it in the right way. Don't forget to mark up your word thicker. We always circle that suffix. All right, Smarties, we are going to move right along. We have three trick words for this week. So our first trick word is the word on the screen. And this is the word again. What's the word? Again, we are going to skywrite it. Ready? A, G, A, I, N. Again. That means I will do something over. I will repeat something. I will write my name again. Let's write it on our arms. You ready? A, G, A, I, N. Again, let's write it on our foreheads. Here we go. A, G, A, I, N, again. What was this word? Again. Our next word is a word that you should use all the time because it means that you are polite. This word is please. What's the word? Please. Let's spell it in the sky. So two fingers. Here we go. P, L, E A S E, please. Let's write it on our arms. P L E A S E, please. Now, sky write it with your eyes closed. P L E A S E, please. What was this word? Will you please? Go get Miss Mason an ice cream cone, please. And our last word for this week, that's a trick word. It's a word that we just need to know is animal. And most of you guys can read this word because you have memorized it and you've seen it a bunch of times. This is the trick word animal. Let's skywrite it. A N I M A L animal. What animal did we learn about last week that changed colors? The chameleon. Good job. All right, let's write animal on our arms. Remember, we're trying to get this word stuck in our head because it's a word we just have to know. A N I M A L animal. And skywrite it with your eyes closed. A N I M A L animal. Whew. That was tough. All right. So we had three trick words today. We had a word of the day. And now we are going to move on to spelling with our suffixes. So go ahead and get your tile board out. As you can see, Miss Mason has a tile board on her screen. So I'm going to be using this tile board to build our words. We are going to build words that have suffixes ist and er. So point to, well, you guys don't have a suffix card, but if we're looking at my suffixes, ist, which suffix would say ist? 
E-S-T. Great job. What suffix would say id? E-D. Great job. What suffix would say er? E-R. What suffix would say is? E-S. And what suffix can say s or z? S. Great job, second grade smarties. All right, so we are going to practice building some words with our suffixes. Now, I know that you guys don't have these suffix cards, okay? So just use, use the cards that you have. And just remember that when we see suffixes, they get that long yellow card, okay? So the first word that we are going to build is duck. Ducks. Let's tap it. D -a -k. Duck. Ducks. So here we go. D -a -k. Ooh, that k comes after a short vowel, so it gets CK. Great job. Duck. And if I have more than one duck, it becomes ducks. Whoops. Duck. Ducks. Great job. Clear the frame. <laughs> okay. So let's go on to our next word. All right. Our next word is bench. Bench. Benches. Ready? B. E. N. Ch. Bench. Benches. So if you are building this word, we don't have an ES card. So just spell it the best that you can. We got to use what we got, right? So B. E. N. Ch. Bench. What says ch? Like chin. C H. Chin. Ch. Bench. Benches. Is. Ooh, what suffix says is? Es. It doesn't say es. We don't say it bench as benches. Sometimes we get kind of lazy with how we talk. <laughs> so bench benches. This es tells me what? That I have more than one bench. That is like a seat, a long seat you might see at the park. All right. We're going to clear cards. So bench benches. The next word we are going to build is Kind, kinder. Let's tap it out. Ready? K kind, kind, kinder. So k this has a K at the beginning. K kind. Ooh, what glued sound says ind? I-N-D. Kind. And let's say the dog is kinder than the cat. It gets that E-R, that suffix E-R. Kind, kinder. Great job. The next word we are going to build is blended. Blended. B -l -e -n -d. Blend, blended. I blended the smoothie. Bl, b, l. Eh. Mm. D. Blend. Ooh, blend id. What suffix says id? Ed. Great job. Blended. And if I see ed at the end of a word, it tells me that I did something in the past. I did it in the past. What if I am blending? I would trade id. For what? I-N-G, blend ing. Now we see ing as a glued sound when it's part of a base word. Blend was the word I started with, and I added ing to change when or how or how many. Okay, so I am blending the smoothie. I could also say she blends the smoothie for breakfast. Blend, blends. I can also use S when I'm talking about when I am doing an action. All right, we're going to clear the board. 
and I'm going to make the word oldest. Old, oldest. So this will be easy peasy. We have a glued sound old. So old. Miss Mason is the oldest person in the class. Ist. What suffix says ist? E-S-T. Fantastic. And I add, and I add E-S-T when I am comparing more than three things. Great job. What if, what if I just said Mr. Mason is older than Miss Mason? I would change E-S-T to what? E-R. That is when I compare two things. Mr. Mason is older than Miss Mason. And our last word is sick, sicker, sick, sick, sicker. S says S. What says I? I. What says K? After a short vowel, C K. And Miss the cat was sicker than its brother. So that is when I'm comparing two things. What suffix says er? E R. All right, Smarty. So we talked about new suffixes today E R and E S T. E R is when I am comparing two things, and that goes at the end of the word. I add E S T to the end of the word when I'm comparing three or more things. All right, Smarties. I hope that you are having an amazing day of learning. Keep a growth mindset. Good learners do hard things, and I will see you tomorrow with a new lesson. Bye, guys.